Okay, now we have these three buttons that are here in the submit box, and we need to program App Inventor so it knows what to do when each one of these is pressed. The first one's pretty easy. It's read for hint, uh, and it is the hint button. You can see hint button, submit button, and next button. So let's go ahead and click on the hint button. When the hint button is clicked, what shall we do? Well, some of the things have already been done in the past. So we can take this section right here, and we want it to go and get the correct URL for that hint. So I'm going to go ahead and Control-C, Copy, and Paste. And the one thing that's going to be different is we're not going to get it from the first question. We have to go and get it from the variable named index. So we're going to get the index. So it'll get the correct article link. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the web viewer to be viewable. So I'm going to control C and control V. Put that one right down here and that one is going to be true so it will be visible. And then we also want to change up the score a little bit. So we've got a couple variables that we're going to change. One is set the hint to true. So again copy paste that true right there. And then we need to set the number of points that are going to be given for that correct answer from 2 down to 1. So that's going to be set the score, no, not the score, the points to a new mathematical value. It was 2, now it's going to be 1. And that's all there is for the hint button. Um, should make the article show up at the bottom, give people a chance to read it, find out what the answer is, and then go and give them one point instead of two.